years of empty stomach, lack of medicines, absence of professional health workers, and poor environmental condition were the common causes of morbidity and sometimes mortality associated with mismanaged environment in majority of barangays in the municipality of Pandan, province of Antique, including Barangay Talisay. The practice of basindi in lang, a local terminology of open defecation in a household surrounding where there was a cover of shrubs and bamboo trees is an experience of Talisayanon that couldn't be forgotten. The resolution number 11-2013 requesting the barangay to appropriate funds for the purchase of water cell bowl and was distributed free of charge and through an annual allocation of funds maximized the distribution of water cell bowl and greatly improved the program of zero open defecation. The adoption and implementation of the national program on health and sanitation identify the priority needs and service requirements of the members of the communities. Long before the implementation of PD-856, the Sanitation Code of the Philippines, there existed already a level 2 potable water source in the barangay from the different water springs in the mountain area, which serve 20% of the household. Funded by the Japan Asian Friendship Society or JAPS, the Malumpati Pools spring water are the sources of level 3 water work system that serves almost 95% of the household of the municipality including households in Barangay Talisay. Being branded as the dirtiest town, the local government initiated the municipality clean and green contest the Barangay Government of Talisay and its communities participated and very supportive of the program and won the highest award for the year 2013. Being the number one in clean and green program at the municipal level last May 2013. However, on November 8, 2013, during the devastation of Typhoon Yolanda, in the northern part of Antique province, wherein the municipality of Pandan were extensively affected, particularly Barangay Talisay. The continuing effort exerted by the Barangay Fox, the forced barangay gradually recovered and the destroyed properties steadily restored. The construction of the Barangay Health Station and the assignment of regular midwives paved the way in bringing the health services closer to the people. The Sangguniang Barangay has enacted Ordinance Number 08-2013 for the implementation of the Solid Waste Management Program, mandated every household to manage their own household waste and should be segregated according to biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Barangay Material Recovery Facility has been constructed to house the recyclable and reusable waste collected from the household and is being made available to scrap buyers. On Ordinance Number 08-2014, known as the Barangay Sanitation Ordinance, requires all households within the jurisdiction of the barangay to comply the following. Family maintaining a pig pen must construct a pig tank for the sewage of the pig. Household shall maintain a covered kitchen sewage. Construct a family habitable toilet using water silver. The present generation of young inhabitants will not anymore endure the pain of walking the two kilometers to go to Pandan Central School to attend classes. The barangay has now a complete elementary education implementing the K-12 curriculum of the Department of Education 
it has a clean comfort room in every classroom with flowing potable water for drinking and sanitation. The Barangay government procured sets of handled radio as means of communication during time of calamity and emergency. Family belonging to below poverty threshold, the practice of open defecation was rampant. Mismanaged backyard, hug racing which was emitting strong odor, caused misunderstanding among neighbors. Very good association in the community was broken apart. Distance relation revealed the enactment of Barangay Ordinance Number 11-2013 in support to the national program on sanitation provided the means to slowly but surely eliminate the cause of the illness prevailing in a certain community. Strict implementation of the provisions of the ordinance and the corresponding effect made the members of the community realize the importance of the said program.
implementation of the different health programs of the Department of Health are perfectly delivered to those who need, bringing the health services closer to the people and made the people aware that healthy people make a healthy nation.